Okay peeps, just a quick uh, update here on what's going on. Um, there's been a major incident in Biddeford as police and fire crews flood town. That's what they say anyway. And uh, this is police seal off Biddeford High Street in a, pre in a previous instance, incident. I don't know what that is, but anyway. The police were called to uh, Chris Busby's house. Uh, well, they weren't called there. What it was, there was a situation. One of the <coughs> ladies that was staying at Chris's house uh, had a little bit of a sort of uh, incident, you know, a bit of an emotional thing going on there. And um, so basically, the police got involved with it. Uh, they took her back to the house, uh, phoned up Chris to see that if she was uh, indeed living there. Uh, he said, Yeah, no problem, everything's fine and uh, so they took her back to the house and basically um, yeah they took her back to the house and then basically spent three hours going through the place um, uh, so that was about 11 o'clock I think about 2.30 uh, rough something like that yeah 2.39 firefighters were drafted in to assist the police um, so they were parked up the road and just generally standing around I don't know quite why that was um, and then basically uh, around about six o'clock the bomb squad was called in and then there was hazardous material so there's various experts have been in and out of there as well so um, now of course from the early phone call uh, which was about uh, the lady in question uh, to Chris uh, he said well that's you know that's fine and they had a conversation they have his number uh, his number's publicly known and he's also on the domestic extremist database so yeah they've got loads of ways of contacting him um, and I talked to him about six o'clock and he was saying oh there's something going on down at my house um, don't quite know what's going on it sounds really weird um, and uh, yeah so he's basically uh, it was a very short call I had with him I was like very s surprised so I've gone on to the uh, internet to see what uh, the news is so apparently they're, they're totally overblown so that was one headline anyway look the one headline there is major incident in Biddeford all right so the next one is uh, uh, oh yeah there was uh, this one which was uh, of course they called Bob Squad at 630 so bomb squad in Biddeford after major police incident all right so the <laughs> We're talking about them going through someone's house, right, without any sort of uh, sort of warrant or whatever, uh, as far as we're aware, um, and they've basically, you know, not contacted the person whose house it was to let them know what was going on. Uh, he's managed to find that out anyway, Chris, um, and he's a bit concerned. Uh, of course, we've got prevent strategy. We've got various other things. I suppose, I suppose they could lock him away for years, you know, with the bomb squad and the serious incident and the, the chemicals and the this and the that. He, he has a laboratory. I helped him move his laboratory. Um, it's not a huge amount of materials, you know. He has small amounts of this, small amounts of that, you know, for doing various experiments. Um, yeah, it, it, it's never, you know, there's never been any incidents before. There's certainly no incident at the moment. Um, all they had to do is contact him and ask him what the bloody materials were. Um, so and he has experiments running and all this kind of thing. Are they going to mess those experiments up? Well, it's highly likely. We, we don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, so uh, I, I did notice on the Facebook, actually, there was a hashtag, what they called it. It's uh, Trucker Times, which is a local thing. Um, and they're sort of saying all sorts of weird things. They obviously know who it is. Uh, so all the locals know who it is. So this is very slanderous in, in what's happening. It's uh, designed to uh, impact his his uh, uh, his standing in the local community, um, and uh, they're all sort of presuming that there's a, a meth lab was one thing, a bomb incident, a SARS was another thing that was mentioned. Um, so th this was what was going on on the uh, Facebook page of hashtag uh, Tucker's uh, people. Uh, Tucker's Times, hashtag Tucker's Times. Um, all right, anyway, I'm, I'm going to call it a day at that. I, I, we, it's really early days to know what's going on yet, but um, this is just absolutely outrageous, um, you know, that, that this stuff is going on in the uh, 21st century. 
Um, so uh, anyway, that's it. I'll uh, I'll leave it as is, and I'll give you an update when uh, we get an update, and hopefully uh, Chris will come out and say something about it. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, very embarrassing. He's been slandered as well on Facebook pages over this. Anyway, that's it. I'll get back to you soon, and good luck, Chris, wherever you are.